Get under. Oh, yeah. Oh, ace it? Oh, my God. What's going on, dudes? Today, we're going to be out here at 4-H playing a new layout that I created. You guys are going to get to see it firsthand right here. The hole one starts out at typical hole one's tee pad. We're going to be playing a hole three's basket. Obviously, if you're going to play this layout, make sure that nobody's playing hole two, hole three. You know, obviously we don't want to be throwing Frisbees at people. So just make sure that hole two and three are really clear. Please guys, make sure that you're extra careful for pedestrians. Um, there's a little bit longer drive. So make sure that you're really paying attention for the walkers. And uh, yeah, don't hit anybody out here. Let's be safe guys. So anyway, hole one is going to be playing to hole three's basket. This is the only hole where you play to another basket. So it's kind of weird there, but I wanted to make this hole a little bit longer. It plays about 430 feet to the basket to hole three. So just make sure that hole three is clear. Try to make sure hole two is clear and you should be good to go. All right, go through this essence, see how it goes. Okay. Ooh, my camera doesn't fall over. Yeah. It's pretty windy out there. <laughs> so once you tap in your par for hole one, we're gonna swing it right around and that'll bring you to hole two. So typically hole two is gonna be played off that tee pad to the basket down there, but we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna back it up just a little bit to the sidewalk here. Make sure you have to throw through a tunnel. It's about 275 feet. Uh oh, turned it over a little bit too much. Road is OB as well. Oh, I hit the edge of the road, it saved me there. Make sure you're real safe here, guys. We're gonna take a meter in. I might take two meters in just because, you know, it's like barbed wire rules. I'm in jail over here anyway, so. Just gonna try to slide it under there for a nice little par. Yup. So after you slide it up there, tap it in for an easy par, we're gonna whip around straight to hole three, which is basically the exact opposite of hole two. It's gonna be a straight tunnel shot about 250 feet. Get under, oh yeah. Oh, ace it? Oh my gosh. Whew. I was about to ace my new course on the first the first playthrough, guys. Come on. Holy cow. Oh my. We're going to do a little panhandle push. And uh, tap in the birdie. Hole four plays about 275 feet. Again, we're right over here by hole five's basket. So make sure nobody's playing on five so you don't get hit. All right. Be safe out here. And also so you don't hit anybody. Okay. So nobody's playing over there. We're going to be throwing to hole four, which is right behind that tree over there. We're going to throw the Athena down there. About 275. It's looking good. Oh, sit down. All right. I think we crossed over the OB, so... Should be good. Just ended up barely in bounds. We're gonna see if we can catch a birdie here. Oh, so close. Hole five, same deal here. Same as your normal hole five shot, just around the tree over there. We're about 300 feet out, so. Oh, that needs to get way down. See, but honestly, that's about where I'd be from the MT anyway. So it just makes it more fun. Should be a nice, nice little layup. Oh, stop rolling. So I made this layout on U-Disc. It's actually on, on there now. Yeah, well, I signed up to be a course ambassador, so. Yeah, so I can make layouts and do all that kind of stuff. I actually, uh, you know, like come here and, and there's no smart layout. I made a smart, them both smart layouts. So now there, there is only smart layouts. But uh, so after you get that, that par on five, move over to hole six, pretty much just a little bit further over from the typical tee pad. It's like 315 feet, slightly uphill. Opens up the forehand a little bit more when you bring it over the side. So we're gonna rip one down there. We're gonna rip a backhand though. <laughs> okay, so that hooks up a little bit. Yeah, the headwind just kept it going right a little bit, but we're pinning high. Maybe a little further. Yeah, we ended, up, we ended up a little far past the basket, but it's all right. We're gonna see if we can't get this birdie. A little Pensacola push. Oh. Just like hole four, same thing. I hit the cage just like that. <laughs> hole seven, just moved over from the typical tee pad. Again, opens up the forehand, hyzer, or like a turnover shot. We're gonna go brave on the turnover shot. 
Oh man, too much turned over. Again, though, that's about where I'd land over there, so it just makes it a little more fun from this side. Yeah, I like this golf alley. They, they can have those in the game too now. The Brave? Yeah. For real? In their shiny plastic, which I think is pretty funny. That's dope. We're going to pitch the yarn up there. Nice little tap in par. It's kind of boring with all these pars. <laughs> well, I mean, that's why it makes this course more challenging, though. It's not just like an ace run on every hole, like birdie fest, you know. Hole eight, go from hole seven, move over to the corner here. It's about 320 with a little tight gap. You don't want to hit eight sign. You know, it's going to be a rough day. Hit that sign. We're going to throw a construct down there. Whoa. Settle down. <laughs> oh, God. The wind just went crazy down there. Just make sure you guys are extra careful on this hole for the pedestrians walking. You can see them coming around the corner. So just make sure you give them extra time. Okay. You can't catch a birdie here. We got that wind kind of picked us up. I thought it was going to be a, a good shot. It was until the wind grabbed it. But... All right. Oh, it was luck. It was luck. <laughs> Solid birdie. Solid. No, I just made it a little longer. Well, there you go. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I can't reach the holes we got. So the whole nine plays the same as it usually does. Couldn't really figure out anything to do here. Oh, just get it. All right. All right, guys. That's going to wrap it up for the nine hole out here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys come and play this layout. Um, we had a little something go down in the hole nine, so I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to get into it today. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching the little course preview. And uh, come out here and play it. Hope you guys get a new high score. See you guys.